Are you as focused as you'd like to be? Is your current level of focus a blessing or is it a curse? Let's look together at the potential negative and positive outcomes of focus so that we can begin thinking about how to find that sweet spot that we all look for. We'll provide additional recommendations of relevant materials on the benefits and costs of focus at the end of this brief episode. Hi, this is Marlena Fiol from Becoming Who We Truly Are, a YouTube channel that deepens our understanding of who we are and also what's possible for us. If you find value in this video, please give it a thumbs up. It makes a big difference. And for a deeper look into my own life experiences and the challenging lessons I faced, we recommend my memoir, Nothing Bad Between Us, published in 2020 by Mango Publishing, as well as our new historical novel, Called, to be released in November. The web addresses are in the show notes below. Throughout my childhood, my parents provided extraordinary selfless service to leprosy patients in Paraguay, South America. They devoted their lives tirelessly to serving the poorest of the poor who were suffering with that dreaded disease. And their steadfast focus on improving the lives of those oppressed people changed how leprosy is treated on the planet today. The American Leprosy Mission has acknowledged my parents, John and Clara Schmidt, as the first to systematically treat leprosy patients in their homes rather than locking them up in a colony. Their ambulatory care approach created in the face of great protestations from all sides is now the preferred form of, lep of leprosy treatment around the world. So bottom line, their focused service improved the lives of people, not only in Paraguay, but throughout the world. I respect and I admire what my parents accomplished. In fact, my husband Ed and I are currently writing an historical novel about their extraordinary lives and their work. The upside of living this kind of focused life is pretty well known. And today, many people seem to be longing for more focus. There are literally hundreds of websites devoted to giving advice about how to become more focused in our lives. For example, to attain greater focus, we're told to get rid of distractions, set goals, make to-do lists. A more recent addition to this list of instructions is to practice mindfulness in order to train our brains to focus. All of this is really good, but it seems to me that we know much less about what we might be sacrificing when we doggedly focus on even the worthiest causes. Is there potentially a curse associated with too much focus? As a former strategy professor and consultant, my immediate answer to that question is that the tunnel vision that might result from that kind of focus can lead to missing new opportunities that might be emerging from outside of that area. My personal life experiences suggest a much deeper and more painful answer to that question. My parents' singular commitment to the health and dignity of their leprosy patients, by definition, led to them focusing less on other responsibilities in their lives, like their children. The question about the possible curse of a focused life is also important to me in my own life, right here and now. Ed and I are more focused than most people when we identify a passion like writing, podcasting, and YouTubing is for us right now, we push forward with laser concentration. I think we need to ask ourselves, what is our curse? What are we sacrificing? And what is your curse? Are you overly focused or do you lack the focus required to get you where, to where you want to go? What are you sacrificing? For those of you who are deeply engaged in your own quest to becoming who you truly are, 
I just want to say that my path may not necessarily be yours. What I'm talking about today has helped me gain greater peace and authenticity in my life. But naturally, only you can decide what path is best for you. If you've found value in this program, please do give it a thumbs up. And please post any questions or comments you might have for me. I am interested, and I'll respond each day. For example, how have you addressed the issue of focus in your life, and has it gotten you what you want? In addition, just so you know, I'll be posting a new episode of this YouTube show each Tuesday at 6 a.m. Eastern Time. For further information on a focused life, we recommend the following resources. First, a TEDx talk by Reggie Rivers suggesting not focusing on your goals as a way of achieving what you want. Also check out the TEDx talk by Chris Bailey on how to get your brain to focus. And again, to learn about my own life journey and what it has taught me, we recommend my memoir, Nothing Bad Between Us, as well as our new historical novel called to be released November 2nd of 2021. The web addresses of each of these are in the show notes. And remember, we are together on this journey.